International scientists have discovered that the glacier in Asia's Hindu Kush Himalayas, home to the famous peaks of Everest and K2, is melting at an unprecedented rate. The report from the Kathmandu-based International Center for Integrated Mountain Development says the Himalayan ice fields could lose up to 80 percent of their volume this century if greenhouse gas emissions aren't sharply reduced. It also warns that flash floods and avalanches will grow more likely in the coming years. The Hindu Kush Himalayan mountain range has been called the world's third pole because the snow and ice there is the largest source of fresh water outside the polar regions. That water is vital for two billion people who live downstream of the major rivers that originate in the mountains. Let's bring in Arun Shesta, Regional Program Manager for the organization in Kathmandu. Arun, I'm not even going to ask you about what the international community needs to do. We know what nations must commit to, and they are failing those commitments. So uh, going straight to the disaster we're facing, can you tell us more about the impact the loss of these glaciers will have across Asia? I'm sure um, glaciers have uh, many importance, but uh, not going into all of them, I will uh, talk about two. One is glacier as source of water, and second is source of hazards. Uh, you know, uh, many of the river basins in, in this region, in South Asia, particularly the Hindu Himalaya, uh, gets water from melting of cryosphere, namely glacier and snowfield. So, you know, Loss of glacier would mean, uh, you know, reduction in meltwater. Uh, and this is going to be particularly important for headwaters where the predominant amount of water is coming from melting, but not so much in the larger river basin and, and uh, you know, uh, downstream. The second big impact is hazards. Because of shrinkage of glaciers uh, can lead to formation of glacier lakes. And uh, under certain conditions, those glacier lakes can actually burst out, which can call glacier lake outburst flood or GLOF in, in, in short. So there are um, you know, possibilities of uh, many glacier lake outburst floods in this region. The Hindu Himalaya region has more than 25,000 glacier lakes, and among them, more than 200 are uh, categorized as potentially dangerous lakes. And any if any of them burst out, it can cause huge, you know, uh, impact, uh, damage on infrastructure, settlements, and ultimately, you know, uh, affect people and livelihood. And so are countries making adequate plans for what's going to happen? Well, countries of Hindu Kush Himalayan region have prepared uh, at some level uh, plans for adaptation to climate change, uh, but you know, uh, there are two challenges I can, I can uh, mention here. One is not necessarily all plants are based on reliable scientific analysis. So this means uh, some of those plants actually could uh, lead to bile adaptation, uh, which is not something which we want. Uh, the other constraint is uh, limited resources available in those countries uh, because those countries are also not of uh, really good economic uh, you know, status. So from their own internal resources, it is very difficult to you know, implement all the adaptation plan. Given your report's dire assessment, I, I wonder, is there any way that prognosis might change? Those uh, prognoses or projections, we call it, uh, are based on certain assumptions, right? Uh, uh, and the biggest assumption is uh, related to how uh, the society, the countries, uh, or even the whole world will move ahead with time. What will be their, you know, uh, you know, energy consumption pattern? Uh, particularly the fossil fuel uh, consumption pattern, fossil fuel related energy consumption pattern, which greatly determines the emission uh, scenario of the future. So depending on how the society, the world evolves, uh, the impact, uh, you know, uh, might change. Uh, but then 
looking at what is already happening, looking at where we are moving based on all the negotiations we are uh, doing every year related to you know reducing emission. Uh, I do not think uh, there is space for to be very optimistic. Uh, and therefore, what I think is that depending on the scenarios, uh, the magnitude of change might be slightly different, but the direction of change will not uh, change so much. Arun Shrestha, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. My pleasure.